this Tech and View team, welcome back to a new review on the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Team in TV UK Magazine issue number 8. And oh boy, this one has possibly got to be one of the worst ones they've made so far. I don't think it's the worst one which they've released in this whole series because I do believe there is one a bit worse because of the art style. But oh god, this one is just terrible. From a very boring and slow storyline to the colours getting mixed up and having the turtles being swapped around, it is surprising that some of these mistakes even got past the editors and all that. So it's going to be an interesting one to review, but hopefully we can still make the fun out of it. So um, yeah. Okay, so first off with the Turtles, they're in a sporting arena and they're eating some food just because they can. And we do get to see an alien, he's sort of talking to the Turtles as he walks off. And we do get to see him talk to Darius Dunn, which I must admit is amazing just seeing Darius Dunn because, well, it's Darius Dunn and Darius Dunn is amazing, possibly the best villain. And oh my god, Darius Dunn is in it. Ah! But still, either way, we do get to see him talking to the alien and pays off the alien to put like a bomb into the ship. So we do get to see on the next page, we do get to see the new hovercraft that Tolls have built. And I must admit, it's pretty cool and pretty interesting, just because and don't build this machine so that it can go fast, instead of actually putting anything which actually needs, such like the toilets and stuff like that. And we do get to find out later that Cody did help with building it with O'Neill Tech, and I must admit, it's somewhat interesting a little bit there. So at the bottom of the page, we do get to see the alien putting the device into the hovercraft thing, and this basically stops the uh, hovercraft from actually going further than like 30 seconds. Which I must admit, it's okay, but I must admit, I do feel do that this whole story has been done before in the episode Race for Glory, but I don't know if this story came up before that episode, or if maybe something like that happened, so I can at least allow them for this little slip up, but it just feels do that this whole story was just taken from the episode, and then didn't really do too much else with it, so yeah. Similar to that, we do get to see the whole craft go off, and we do get to see it go off for about 30 seconds before it breaks down. And Don Tello starts to wonder why, just because he was the one who built it, and he thinks that nothing should have gone wrong, and again, like, it's Donnie's, so why would it go wrong? So then we do get to see the other turtles wondering what they should do next, and we do get to see Leo tell his other brothers that basically he's gonna go down trying to help Donnie. But then this is where things get a little bit weird because out of nowhere Raph wants to spar Leo and Leo doesn't want to do it but Raph insists on doing it and then he just starts fighting Leo which I must admit it does lead to some pretty cool and interesting battle scenes which I can't deny were actually pretty cool to see. However that being said it just came out of nowhere and Raph just started fighting for no reason and just felt so out of place and just so not like him and just felt so weird. But we do get to see here, which is possibly one of the worst slip ups they've made so far. We do get to see Mikey steps in to try and stop Raph from like, hurting me anymore. However, the colorist called Mikey to be Raph and, you know, Raph to be Mikey. And I don't know how they like screwed this up. It wasn't even if it was like a big mistake or anything. You know what? Even in the artist himself, he actually like screwed this up as well. He drew Raph there. So. So maybe I can't blame the colorist all too much, but I'm just saying, but like, this is a pretty big mistake, and yet somehow this got past it. How? I mean, you can quite clearly tell that it was Mikey speaking, and yet somehow we got wrapped there. Like, that is just a stupid mistake. Oh, God. But then we do get to see Don, he's flying around, trying to see what's wrong with the ship. So when the other turtles start to say that basically, oh, we don't want to die and stuff like that. And we do get to see Mikey open up a fizzy drink, and it goes into the machine. And then somehow, this somehow fixes the machine, which, uh, yep, yeah, that sounds about right, it's turtles. But we do get to see another mistake. Just because we do get to see Don ask Raph to go and hit the button so that the shovelcraft can go and fly off to win the race. And we do get to see Mikey, he says basically, oh yeah, he helped out. However, in this bit here, we do get to see another mistake, but we do get to see Mikey uh, pressing the button to make the ship go forward, while Raph is talking to Donnie, saying how he helped uh, basically fix the ship. And, and again, like, how did we mess this up so badly? You can quite clearly tell that Raph is going off to hit the button, and Mikey was there talking about how he saved the day. How can this colorist mess this up so badly? Ah, oh, for God's sake. So then on our page, we do get to see the turtles win the race, and we're talking to the alien, and saying that he cheated, and Mikey lost the win, and that's pretty much it for that page, and, oh god, yep. 
So yeah, I must admit overall, the artwork for this issue, we have seen this artist before in a few issues, and I must admit the art style for this one is still really great and amazing, and again like another one of these art styles where you can tell that it's enough like the show to be the show, but at the same time, it's not, which I do think works really well for its favours. And again, like this person also drew Darius Dunn, so I can't complain too much. Darius Dunn is amazing. And the artwork, again, is also really great in this issue as well. I've like, really shown off a lot more of the artist's abilities to draw, like a lot more unique, different things, something just we have seen before, which I do think is really great. But the colours for this issue. Oh boy, this is where like really annoys me because I really want to like this issue because it has Darius done in this issue. But at the same time, this colorist did make a few big mistakes, which the first one, yeah, I can understand because the artist did drew a uh, wrath instead of Mikey. But on the second time, that was just a big mistake and I don't know how it got past the editors and got actually released. It was just a stupid mistake and I can't believe it got released. Oh, for God's sake. But even for the story itself, I do think that it's an okay story, I want to say. There's nothing really in here that really, like, shouts out to me and goes, yeah, wow, this is an amazing story or something like that. And I think that might be down to the fact that I've seen this story done before in the episode Race for Glory. I don't really want to place the blame all on that just because I don't know when things were released around this all time, so I can of give them a little bit of a break there, but at the same time, it does feel stupid that I've done this story so much. But at the same time, I do feel so I've done this story before, to the point where it doesn't really feel that original. But, yeah. Also, not to mention that due to the fact that it was also 10 pages, it did also lack a lot of, like, areas for them to really expand upon in terms of the story and stuff like that. Stuff which I do feel so they could have really improved upon, did some really amazing things in this, like, story, but... It feels too that it was just so short and they didn't really do too much and stuff in here just felt so out of nowhere just because you get to see the tiles like racing but then stop and you know like that's okay but we do get to see them like Raph fighting Leo for, for like no reason which is really weird and a little bit stupid in a way and then the tiles just win and that's it. It just, I don't know, it doesn't really feel so that the story was there. It feels too that it was just, you know, oh the tiles are racing. Yep, done. And... Oh god, I wish there was more to this, and I want to like this issue a lot more because the art style was great, there is Dumbledore in this one, and yet they gave us this, and the colours. Oh boy. But uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for today guys, if you just want please share, let's just grab all stuff. Goodbye, yo, bye.